Hi there, it's Sandra with Bruce City Thrifts. Today I am at the St. Vinny, St. Vincent de Paul's in Waukesha, and I haven't been here since they did a renovation on the inside, so I think they might have spiffed things up. So let's take a look. Let's hit it. So today I decided to start in the purse section. And I don't look at purses that often. I am usually looking for a coach purse or something that has some really good leather. This time I noticed this purse with the cute little fox on it. It is a Chala purse and it is not a, you know, not hugely expensive, but I thought it was a nice one and I decided I would give that a shot. So it was the first thing I put in my cart. I thought this was a cute spongeware country chicken. It's ceramic. It was $6.99. It did not have a maker's mark on it, but I did think it was a nice piece. It was a planter, but I left it on the shelf. I thought these two pieces of pottery were somewhat interesting. On the left here was a somewhat lightweight piece, a hobbyist I'm thinking. I liked the cutout that uh, featured those three pine trees. The one on the right was a little more substantial. It was a toothbrush holder, but neither of them ended up in my cart. Here in the vase aisle, I first noticed this vase. It looked like it had some age and I liked the swirled pattern on it. And then I give you a shot of all the faces. None of them ended up in my cart this time. Oh, I need some focus, focus, focus. Okay. So I'm in the Halloween area and I am reaching for this pumpkin. It is metal. It has distressed white paint look to it. And I really like that look. I think it goes with a lot of different decor. And so I don't think this is very old, but I just kind of, I was taken by it. So it ended up in my car. I noticed this piece of what appears to be Fenton Silver Crust milk glass. They are asking $17.99 for it. I do like it, but I have a piece of Silvercrest Fenton milk glass that I need to move out of inventory before I can get another one. Then I noticed this Bluebird. I believe this is a, a piece made by L.E. Smith. It is vintage and hails from about the 1950s according to eBay research. They're asking a little over $7 and they do sell for about 15. I did decide to leave it on the shelf. More tchotchkes, little figurines everywhere, and some snow babies, a little collection. Speaking of collections, You've got a ready-made collection of bells here, all kinds of bells. I don't pick up bells, very, very rarely do I, but that cloisonne one attracted my attention for a moment. This little one has hand-painted violets, which you know I do love. Um, thought about it for a moment. There was another pretty hand-painted one back here, but I did move on. Some more figurines. On this shelf, there was a little bird. It looked like a little shorebird on a piece of driftwood, and it was very well made. I liked the painting on it, so I was very, very interested and uh, picked it up to get a closer look. Only $2.99. Everything was looking good until, oh, I saw that beak. That was a big chip, so that had to stay on the shelf as well. I have always liked these metal, sort of like scrap metal figurines. 
I actually really like the big sculptures. These little ones are also fun. Here's two musicians. I really thought for a minute about getting this one that is a cello player. My son used to play the cello and my daughter. And I thought about getting one for getting it for one of them, but I decided to pass. But I did really like it. It was kind of hard to move on. On the shelf below, I noticed this Again, some hand-painted violets on a plate. That is definitely a vintage piece. It's marked from Bavaria. If there had been a signature, I would most likely have picked it up. Then I noticed this terracotta bread warmer. I thought it was, um, it looks a little bit worn, but I think it can be cleaned up nice and they're still people still use them a lot of people do I mean I do well with terracotta so I put it in my cart to think about it and then I noticed this plate and boy was I excited when I saw this for $2.99 I recognized this as Solimene Vietre it was marked made in Italy on the back. It looked to have a lot of age. Surprised not to see the Solimene Vietre mark on it, but my thought was maybe it was an old enough one that it had a different marking. So I put it in my cart. Um, definitely the right style, the right look. Um, so I, uh, but I still think it was Solimene Vietre. So I was so happy to find it. I am scanning the shelves when I see this little trinket box and then right next to it this green marble mortar and pestle. I rarely find the pestle with the mortar or vice versa <laughs> and so I thought the green marble color was cool and I it was it looked like it had age when I turned it over to look at the bottom um, so I was checking to make sure there was no cracks, but I really thought it was a nice piece. Returning to the shelves, I noticed, had noticed when I picked up the mortar and pestle, these mushrooms, they look like a craft or someone's um, hobbyist pieces, but they were cute. And I think if you had enough of those put together, it would have been a real cute display. In this tub I had noticed these little pewter figurines and pulling them out I thought so this one for sure was a, a pretty well made piece it was very heavy it's of an elephant stepping over a log and for $2.99 I thought that's kind of a nice piece for an elephant figurine collector um, this was a little puppy in a shoe um, this one this one was looked like um, um, a Disney figure. It looked like Mickey or Minnie Mouse and it turned out to be Minnie Mouse. So I thought for as a Disney figure it might be worth picking up. And then I also noticed this one which it was a bird. Um, it had a kind of a modernist smooth uh, design and I liked those three pieces so I put them in my cart while I went back to look at some of the other ones. Definitely liked the bird. So just looking through these other ones, there was, I can't remember what that one was. There's a T-Rex. This one was a bear. That was another really heavy one. We have a man and then we had a giraffe. So I noticed this glass votive holder because of the color. It's a kind of a very light blue, very pretty. I then noticed this pewter bird on a marble base. It seems to have some age. It's got a felted bottom and very nicely detailed item. But unfortunately, two branches have been broken off of it. This wood cutting board it has a really nice grain it's it's I really like it my son makes cutting boards and this one looks like it could have been made by um, you know a craftsperson 
a hobbyist, but it, I already have one in my stock, so I decided to leave it on the shelf. This is 10,000 Villages stone carving. I do see a lot of these in Goodwills, but I do like them. They've got the you know, kind of modernist uh, abstract design. And then I noticed this. This is a marble egg, striped black and white. They're asking $3.99 for it. And I think it's interesting enough that I decided I wanted to give that a shot. So I put that in my cart. I noticed this barrel. It's made out of ceramic and made to look like a whiskey barrel. They're asking $4.99 for it. Definitely is vintage. And I turned it over and saw that it is it was made in Peoria, Illinois. And I I do like it. I thought it would make a nice decorative item, but again when it's marked with a place name, it sometimes is harder to move. It is harder to find that buyer from Peoria or the Peoria connection who wants it. So I put it in my cart to think about it for a while, but I did eventually put it back on the shelf. I am not drawn to plastic items very much, but I thought the design on this was really cool. Those cute little kitties on the top with the marbled pink interior. It was lightweight. I would, would have guessed um, 60s or 70s was turning it around. It was in overall good shape. Again, there was that pretty marbling on the pink. And I don't know if you can see the label, but the label, oh, I'm sorry, the marking on it made me think it was also definitely vintage. And then I noticed, it took me a while to notice, but there was that flaw on the top, so it stayed. I noticed this ceramic piece. It is a pipe ashtray. It's got some gilding on it, and it is, it, I don't see a maker's mark, but it definitely is vintage. And next to it was a, a little clown. Then on the shelf below, I noticed this. It is a very old looking distressed box. It's got a kind of a unique latch to it, and I, I actually couldn't figure out how to open it but I did like the look. Somebody who's decorating with sort of industrial distress kinds of kind of items might really like it. But for the price they were asking, I left it behind. I did also notice this handmade wooden truck. Again, a little bit pricey for this item, $8.99. So I do like it. It's rather beat up, so I had no problem leaving it behind. Some hand-painted bowls here, and next to it, I recognize the style, and yes, it is Heather Goldmink for Blue Sky Pottery. It's a birthday cake piece, and very cute, except Kitty is broken, so... I would have picked that up if it weren't for the damage. I do like Heather Goldmink pieces. I just wanted to show you how big this store is. It is, there's a lot here. So go shop St. Vinny's, St. Vincent de Paul's in Waukesha. Nice place to shop. In the frames area, I noticed this foil picture of two wolves. They were asking $3.49 for it, but it was only originally about $10. I liked it. I thought it would be nice in a cabin. Of course, this I liked even more. This is a Star Wars frame. I really wanted to get it. It wasn't the best quality. The back was kind of, it seemed sort of like cheap cardboard, but it is Star Wars and my nerd friends would have loved it but I did leave it on the shelf. Down here I noticed these prints. These are Gustav Klimt prints. There's a set of three and they're asking $5.99 each. That is not a ton of money for some nice prints but 
looking them up on eBay, none of these prints are particularly strong sellers. So I decided not to mess with the you know, mess with them. They're kind of big and hard to ship. So I decided to leave them behind. But I do like those Gustav Klimt prints. I always feel so out of my depth in the lamp area, but I did notice this one for $50. This definitely had the right vintage feels. Everything seemed intact. There's an old cord there. It even had a tag on it. So new old stock, um, rust rose by, it looks like quorum. Anyway, nice lamp. I didn't want to mess with it, but I thought it was a pretty cool find for someone. Okay, it is cart review time. Let's review my cart. And let's start with the first item I picked up of the day, which was this Foxy Chala purse. And that box is so darn cute. That I did keep. I also kept this green marble mortar and pestle. Mortar plus pestle score. And then this terracotta bread warmer. It is vintage 1993. It needs a little cleaning, but that's not a problem. Here are the pewter smalls, the little elephant, the little bird, and the little Minnie Mouse that I found amongst a collection of pewter pieces. This is a candle I picked up. You know I always pick up candles for myself and friends. There is the, this is the marble egg, black and white striped. Here is the whiskey barrel, the ceramic whiskey barrel from Peoria. I did decide to leave that behind. Okay, here is the Distressed white metal pumpkin for Halloween. I like it. It's not anything super wonderful, but this is super wonderful. This is the Solomoni Vietri plate. It looks like the chicken plate or a bird plate of some kind. It is definitely that maker. I am thrilled to have found it. So that is it. So that was a lot of fun. I think St. Vinny's must have gotten rid of some things because it seems a lot more spacious in there. Things are really spread out and that makes shopping, I guess, easier. But um, we were able to find a couple really cool things. I'm especially excited about that Solomoni Vietri plate. I'm pretty sure that's what it is and those are just one of my favorite things to find. So uh, I'm going to do a little research and make sure and clean it up. And that was probably the pick of the day, but lots of cool things and had a really good time. Hope you did too. Now I am going to be away for a little while again, but don't worry, I'm coming back. It won't be as long a break as I had last time. I will be coming back soon with more vintage and antique thrifting in the Milwaukee area. So stick with me and thrift on siblings. We will do this again. Bye-bye.